What's going on everybody? Welcome for the first time or back to another DLJ Works video. And what I'm going to show you today, as I have mentioned in the last video, is how to actually sell appointments or consultations, however you want to say it, using a combination of Gumroll and Calendar, Calend.ly. We'll just say it like that. Stick around for it right after the intro. All right, let's get into this. This is something I'm actually excited about because it's something I've been trying to figure out for myself for a while, but after some experimentation, no tutorials watched. I've had to actually just kind of think about this and experiment with it, use looking at Gumroad's features and functionality and just kind of combining that with Calendarly. So I'm gonna try to keep this video as brief as possible, but jam packed with value. value. So the first thing that well, I'm gonna actually show you is, I'm showing you my Gumroad product page for the consultation. This is the back cover and everything else. I charge for $100 per hour for 60 minutes. Um, if you want more hours, if you want like four hours, five hours, six hours, that's of course $700 for that amount of time. All right. So the way that this actually works is that once somebody actually pays, I'll take you to the test purchase that I actually have right here in my email. Once somebody actually pays, they'll be able to get have a button that says book your meeting. And it can also generate an invoice for your records for the fact that you actually pay for a meeting. All right. So when you actually click on book a meeting, it's going to automatically take you. Let's just click on it here. It's going to take you to Calendly, Calend, Calendly. All right. Calendly It's going to take you here where you can actually book or set up your times to where whoever clicks on your consultations, they can actually book the appointment. And the beautiful part about this is that the person is already paid ahead of time, all right? So they have skin in the game. They made already made an investment, no flaking out, no sitting up here trying to find shortcuts or reach around in terms of getting uh, free information off of you. I have had some customers in the past get some free information and everything else. and. Um, this is to kind of help safeguard to where you can now redirect those people. Hey, you know, I would love to answer that question. You need to book a consultation. Oh, you need help with that? Book a consultation. What can I actually do for you? Let's book a consultation. You'll be able to redirect them to your your link here from Gumroad so they can be able to purchase those hours and get that meeting as requested. Now, how do you actually do this? All right. This is the part where I'm going to walk you through. I'm going to show you through gumroad how to actually set this up well first we need to go through uh, calendarly first to set this up all right so if you don't want to pay for the service because you really don't have to use gumroad in order to accomplish this you can actually get the professional package pay for 15 dollars a month and use their collect payments with stripes and paypal integration which i imagine is how you would actually if you wanted to pay for an appointment you would actually be able to use this in order to do so so connect Stripe or PayPal so to Calendly so invitees can submit payments safely when booking you. All right, so that's one way that they actually go about it. But if you're looking to just still stick with the free plan, and you're not looking to pay that fifteen dollars a month. I'm gonna show you how to just stick with the free plan and kind of combine that, uh, do some manual integration just using Gumroad alone. So the first thing I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna log into Calendly.ly. So see me on the back end. Okay, now. I already have an event played up, so I'm just going to kind of walk you through how I actually set this up on an already existing, um, already existing platform here. Okay, already existing streaming um, event that I've already have created. So I'm gonna go to edit. All right, and here you you have several drop down boxes. That's what these are. So the first thing that we actually want to do is want to say what event is this? You want to create the event name. Um, you can add a location. It's not really optional. I didn't really have a Zoom account to integrate with this, but when somebody books me, we'll just manually use Zoom from there. But you can integrate Zoom, a phone call, in-person meeting, however you want to do it, and several other applications here, uh, however, whatever you want to use. All right. Uh, description and instructions. You can actually put a set of description and instructions here, but I've taken care of this already also on my Gumroad item. All right. So. And then from here, you can actually put an event link. So I personally put down the actual time here. I think they give an example of that. Like if you hit this little information drop down box, you could actually put uh, the time here or you could put the date, however you want to do it. I just put 60 minutes. So 
Uh, we go from there. And then once you actually have that, you want to go to save and close. I'm going to go to cancel. All right. And then the date range. How far in the future can your potential prospects book you for consultations? By default, it's just left at 60 days. I just left it at that because maybe I, I get a lot of bookings and I just need to just leave, give enough people enough space to where they can actually book Um have enough leeway to book ahead in the future with it, whatever it needs to be. But you can also do custom date ranges um, and definitely into the future. So you can also just not have a date range and just uh, unlimited time space for that. All right. Duration. You can also do uh, up from 15 up to 60 minutes by default, but you can also enter a custom time by um, hours as minutes. It says here, define how long your event will be. It could be as long as 12 hours. So, and then once you actually do that, you can come down here and set custom times per day based on what your schedule is available to do. So from Monday through Friday, I set mine from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. because I'm actually I have a day job. I'm a teacher by day and web designer still by night. So that's what I do with some writing on the side or whatnot. All right. So I'm going to uh, hit cancel on that because I'm not going to set anything else. Now, if you want to have some invitee questions, you can um, you can actually do this here. All right. So I guess if you want to add a um, if you was if you already had the, the invitee in mind, you want to put their name and email address. All right. So they can actually be able to, you know, you maybe you have a question for them. You can actually put that in by default here. So I just actually left this alone for now because I'm leaving this open for people who or just going to book for me. So I, I don't really have any use for this, at least not right now. All right. I didn't go through workflows. All right. That's not something I even, I, I don't think I even open up right now at this moment. So, but you can actually incorporate this text notifications sent to host, email reminder sent to invitee. So you can actually use this invitation, um, this, this system to notify people that, Hey, your scheduled meeting is coming up. You need to go ahead and jump on. I sent you an email, I sent you a text message, then an email, then I also sent you another email, all right, and then you can follow up with another email, thank you, so this is also something that you can actually use, I haven't set this up or anything like that, so uh, maybe after this video, that's something I'll actually play around with, but the most important thing was just making sure that the payment and the bookings are all completed, all right, notifications and cancellation policies, all right, I pretty much turned all of these on, so that way, uh, we can go ahead and we can set some email reminders. So the same thing that you can actually do in workflows, this is an option here. And maybe they may fuse these together in the future because you can see here a new feature. Save time and use workflows to set up reminders, follow-ups, and more. Apply your messages to multiple events, event types at once. Choose from a variety of email and text message templates. So all the good stuff that you have in workflows is here. But if you don't want to use it in a workflow, then they give you some switches that you can flip on and just set those email reminders up to let your invitees know that, hey, you have a meeting that's scheduled coming up. Don't miss it. And this is important because I know that I've already written, I've already put it in writing that if you have a meeting schedule and you do not let me know 30 minutes ahead of time or, or more in advance that you're going to cancel need to reschedule, I will open up the Zoom. I will give you the time to wait. I'll still send you invitations, reminders, notifications like, hey, the meeting is started. It's open. Jump on Zoom right now. And it'll, I'll stay on Zoom the whole entire time that you're supposed to be on. If you never get on, then there's no refunds for that. All right. There, there's no communication. You didn't communicate. There's nothing for that or anything for that matter. So that's how that's going to work. All right. So, and you know, I, I didn't click down here. So show cancellation policy. I have something written here that I put in. All right. So uh, clients responsible for paying anything, uh, paying another 90 minutes actually should be 60. So I'm actually change this one here. So this should actually be 60. All right. And that is my. So we won't do mess around with Grammarly right now. All right. So we won't do that. I'm going to just hit 60. I'm going to hit save and close. All right. Confirmation page. All right. We just leave that default display calendarly confirmation page. All right. So I'm going to hit cancel. If you have a another page that you want them to go to a website or something like that, a landing page, then you could just add a custom link here. 
But other than that, we're just going to display the Calendly, Calendly confirmation page here. And then lastly, collected payments. But of course, we're not we're not using the integrations part because that requires a professional uh, service and we're not going to be using that um, at all. We're going to just be using a free version of this and just using the free version also of Gumroad to be able to accomplish what we're trying to. So now we actually got this all together. The only thing I updated was the um, 60 days, I mean 60 minutes of my confirmation because it's not 90 minutes, it's 60. So I'm going to go back. And now here, this is what you need. You need this link here, all right, to send the people in order to for them to book through Calendly. But instead of sending this directly to people, we're going to now use Gumroad to make this happen, Captain. So I'm going to see you on the back end of Gumroad so I can kind of walk you through what that also looks like as well. All right, so now we're on the back end of my Gumroad page, and I'm going to move this more so up here. All right, perfect. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna move it. Yeah, I'll just move it here for now. Actually, no, I'll just leave this down here. We'll just do that. All right. So now we're on the back end of my Gumroad page at this moment. So you can see that the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to name our product, and I named this 60 minute video on demand. And the pretty much the printed what I had in printed Calendly is here in the description. Terms of service, cancellation, and refund policy. All right. You want to make a custom URL for your Gumroad product, so it's very easy to for people to actually like remember what it is, and you can send it to them. So you want this to be as short as possible. I simply just titled this Streaming Consult. I made a custom graphic here, Vimeo TTU screen, sixty minute consultation, and then we have my cover image, DLJ Works Vimeo TTU screen, sixty minute consultation. So this is a cover image. And then for product info, so this is a call action button, so I just kept it at pay. Got copy and pasted the first paragraph of the description and put it here in the summary. There's no additional details. And this right here is where you want to add the Calendly link. You see that I have the Calendly link right here as well. All right, and you can just hit test, and it'll test it successfully. All right, so that way you can go ahead and you can, um, you can send the Calendly link over there to the person or I mean you can when the person actually buys the commonly when they buy a consultation this is the link that it's going to take them to I don't know why it took me so long to say that so here's the test purchase that I actually made and I actually showed this in an earlier video but when you they click here that is the link that is this link working in action all right that's this link right here working in action so the next thing that we're going to actually do, we got pricing, oh, so it's $100 per hour, all right? And you can also set the options to allow customers to pay what you want if that's what you want to actually do. You, you can allow the customers to dictate how much your time is worth or you can dictate how much time your time is worth or how much money your time is worth. Now, I turned this on, allow customers to choose a quantity because if they want to book multiple hours, then they can actually do that. And, and of course, they're going to have to actually maybe book those hours over the time span of uh, several days based on what my schedule is. Or they could just book on a Saturday and we could just work something out. And if it's something that can't fit within a week, we could probably book it for a Sunday. I could make the exception depending on how many hours they're looking to actually spend. All right. And then you want to put your tags down here. And once people actually give the ratings, they can actually be displayed so your product can be found within the actual discovery store so now I'm gonna go to checkout so once we get done with that we want to go ahead and put our details in for the checkout all right so I left this car hold the name full name field will be shown when it is increased uh, when it will increase conversions okay no shipping required no shipping information required this is all digital so there is no shipping at, at uh, none of that um, additional details I created a custom checkbox because I wanted to write down um, I accept terms of service written in the description because that's where I actually place the terms of service at. Now, you can either do, re if you do, um, let me see here, require shipping information. Oh, no, if you do terms, it's already by default going to say that uh, I accept terms of service, but I need to write a custom message here. So that's why I created uh, a checkbox and I just made it required. So that's that's probably a better option if you got your terms of service 
<coughs> excuse me, written in the description like I have. And the button that you see here, when people go to that email, it says book your meeting. So once they actually pay, it will give you the option. It'll, it's going to do a little five second countdown. And it's going to take you immediately to the calendar page so you can actually book your meeting. All right. So you got to be careful if you book um, five hours, you need to look at how you're going to spread those five hours throughout the actual week based on what the availability is of that person. So uh, we can kind of keep record of the time and and what we talked about it and kind of move forward from there. So that's something that's also you need to keep in mind. So based on what schedule you're trying to have your potential prospects have uh, or what schedule you have and what you're trying to schedule with them. So maybe you have a full day. Maybe you're, you're, you're an entrepreneur, a solopreneur or something like that. And you have a nine to five available where you're at home and you're available for your potential prospects. Well, you can actually go ahead and do the consultation for those five hours straight and just provide for them whatever is needed. All right. That's going to be a marathon. That's going to probably be tiring, but you know, you, you do you boo boo. That's how that's going to go. And then you could actually just do a thank you note here. And you could just put a little brief message there and that will actually take care of, uh, now come at the bottom here of your checkout page. So now once we actually click checkout, we can go to share and then we could just begin to share our link, you know, and this is what it's going to look like. So you're going to put your link here on your YouTube description in the comment section. You want to do a pinned comment. Uh, you want to send people the actual Gumroad link, not the Calendly link. You want to put the Calendly link inside Gumroad exactly in this product area. This is probably the most important thing to actually put your Calendly link here in the content section. All right. Uh, where it says add your content, you want to do a redirect URL. This is the most important thing. So you take your Calendly link and you put it inside of your Gumroad backend. And that's what you're going to do. And then from there, once you actually, once somebody actually makes a purchase, now actually maybe I could do a test purchase right now so you can see what I'm talking about. So if I click here, all right, let's say if I book, well, we're going to leave it at, uh, a couple we're, we're gonna leave it at one hour for now just for this test purchase I'm gonna hit pay all right the test purchase here you need to do click on terms of service because required they put a dummy card number and expiration date here that tells you you'll be charged $100 all right it's gonna redirect you see how it's redirecting right now all right it's gonna leave this page so that page is going to disappear but no nope, don't worry while you're being taken here to Calendly all right uh, you can book your sessions wherever you need to. All right. And then just go from there. So I'm not going to book anything right now at this moment. I'm not booking anything at this moment at all. All right. So if we go back to my other email, let me go ahead and refresh this page. So we can see here. All right. It says book my meeting. So even though that page disappeared, your book your meeting button is going to be right here on the back end of your email. If you need to generate a receipt, you can also do that um, also for your records. And that's going to be pretty much it in terms of being able to take a Calendly link and creating a consultation or appointment here in Gumroad. This is it's really nothing much to it. It's just filling out the form fields correctly. But you needed to know that you need to take the Calendly link and add it to Gumroad. So that way you can actually sell those appointments, those consultations, and you'll be able, you, you, you can avoid answering questions that you don't really need to answer outside of the consultation setup fees that you actually have through Gumroad. So somebody wants to ask you questions in an email, you can shoot them back. Hey, thank you for reaching out. Love that you're trying to get your questions answered right now. You saw my YouTube videos. I appreciate that. But uh, you must, in order to get your information um, requested to you or you, to get your solution, please book a consultation with me because my time is very limited. Send them the link, the Gumroad link, not the Calendly link, the Gumroad link so they can pay for your time and book a session with you and just go from there. And that's how this is pretty much going to work. That's going to be it for this DLJ Works video. I hope you got something very helpful out of it. And if you're looking to actually start a consultation meeting where you're booking hours 
this is a good way to actually utilize this and, and make very good use of that as well. So if you have questions about this, um, hey, book book time with me and I'll be more than happy to consult with you on going diving deeper into this further or setting this up uh, custom wise for you uh, for whatever business you're trying to run. Thanks again for watching. DLJ Works. God bless y'all and I'll see you in the next video.